Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop video. So, if you were a PrestaShop 1.6 user and started using 1.7 recently, you might have noticed it's lacking, as I always say, a lot of features. In this case, today we're going to talk about the top menus, uh, missing background image. Well, it's not a background image actually, it's, um, it's thumbnails for the main category. It's supposed to be here and um, I will show you how it looks in 1.6. It should be like this. But mysteriously, they are gone from 1.7. So we're going to take them back today and we're going to get something like this. And we could do anything with this really. We could float it right. We could add it. This is actually an image tag, but we could add it as background image and whatever we want really. So, to start with, the good news is that 1.7 is already set up for accepting menu thumbnails. And so I went ahead in my women category and added my menu thumbnail. However, you can see it's not working. I can refresh, but uh, it's not going to work. So it's just being removed from the theme for whatever reason the theme developers might have had. Okay, so let's add it back. A few things before starting, apart from remembering to add, of course, the menu thumbnail. You can add more if you want, it's just um, to demonstrate it works that I add one. I will um, make sure that my uh, template compilation is set to recompile or force compilation and my cache is disabled. I want to keep it disabled just in case. If you want to be extra um, Precise, you can also clear a cache using this button. Okay, let's get to our code now. I'm in my 1.7.0.4 folder, which is the latest version at the time of this recording. And I'm gonna go to Themes, Classic, Modules, PS Main Menu, which is the new name basically for the block top menu module. And I'm gonna open up the TPL file. So what we want to do here is uh, inject our code here where we have the submenus div. So if I add some garbage here and I refresh, I can see it's being added everywhere, right? So this means that if we simply add an image tag or whatever, this is going to be applied to every sub instance of the top menu. So every category having children will have the image. Uh, what I recommend is simply adding the menu thumbnail for the top uh, categories only. This is the simple thing. But of course, we could add more logic. It's just um, going to make things a little more complicated. So um, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to use an if. If node, which is the um, name of the variable for the category, image URLs, and I'm going to close the if. So this is um, what's being assigned in the PHP code. And if we have image URLs, which is an array, I'm going to use for each from equals image URLs item equals, I'm, I'm going to call it uh, with a singular name, image URL. I'm going to close the for each loop. Oops. And uh, I'm simply going to add an image tag. So image source and it's going to be image URL. Okay, that's it, basically. Let's get back to it. And uh, it's not being added now, so I, I think I am, um, if I did everything correctly here, no, from node dot, uh, sorry, it was from node dot image URLs. Let me refresh again. And there we have it. So it's uh, actually from this product here, but uh, it works. Of course, we can do anything here. We, now we can uh, we can get this image and we can you know, float it right uh, and make it look a little better. You can add CSS for it, whatever you want. Um, just as you can see, it's uh, built in. It's just not, uh, how to say, active in the template. Okay, so I think this is everything for today's tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.